Good morning again, friends, and good morning to those of you who weren't able to join us uh, at our Zoom meeting this morning. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and start a new um, curriculum for religion. So we got past Easter and we talked about Lent and we talked about Jesus' resurrection. So now, um, and we're going a little bit backwards, but we are going to start talking about the miracles that Jesus performed. So uh, Jesus performed miracles because um, he was the son of God and um, God helped him uh, perform these miracles in order to teach people to believe in God and to have faith. Uh, so we are going to go ahead uh, and watch a video um, about God's story and the title is uh, Jesus. So the very first miracle that Jesus didn't necessarily perform, he didn't do the miracle himself, rather he was a part of it, was um, was the miracle that uh, God sent him down for um, the people. Uh, so we're going to learn about that today and then um, you're going to get a little bit of a couple of sneak peeks uh, to the, the miracles that we will be learning within the next few weeks. Um, so we're going to go ahead and watch this video and... Um, then we'll talk about it a little bit more after. God's story, Jesus. So part of God's story, actually the biggest part of God's story is about how he sent us a rescuer. And it goes like this. Way back in the beginning, God created a perfect world and he made it exactly the way he wanted. It was full of good things like oceans and mountains and giraffes and jellyfish. There was no sickness or sadness or death, and he made people, Adam and Eve, to live in his perfect world with him forever. People were God's favorite creation. In fact, he called everything he made good, but he called people very good. Then something awful happened. They disobeyed God, and then that's when all the wrong things in the world began. Now, even though people disobeyed God, he loves us more than anything. So God planned a rescue. One day, he would send his son to rescue his family from all the wrong things in the world. That way, we could be close to God again. God's family was so excited about this rescuer. They waited hundreds and hundreds of years. They thought the rescuer would be a mighty king or maybe a powerful warrior. Imagine their surprise when the rescuer was born as a little baby. It was Jesus. It wasn't what they had expected, but it was exactly what God had planned. Jesus was completely human, but also completely God. That means he was perfect and never did anything wrong. He ate and slept and had friends, just like you and me. But he could also do incredible things that only God can do. And when he was all grown up, he was ready to show the whole world that he was God's son. When Jesus was an adult, he started traveling and doing miracles. A miracle is something amazing that can only happen with God's help. And Jesus did lots of miracles. He went to a party and turned water into wine. He fed 5,000 hungry people with just five loaves of bread and two fish. He calmed the raging sore by telling it to stop. He walked on water. He healed people everywhere he went. He made blind people see and paralyzed people walk. He touched the sick and made their diseases disappear. He even brought a dead man back to life. And he told people that he could do all of this because he was the son of God. Jesus didn't just heal people on the outside. He healed them on the inside, too. He forgave their sins. That means they didn't have to be punished for their wrong choices. Instead, they could follow Jesus. Some people didn't like what Jesus was doing. They didn't believe he was the Son of God. And even after all the miracles Jesus did, like healing the sick and making blind people see, they still didn't believe him. They actually wanted Jesus to die. And that's exactly what happened. Jesus had to suffer and die on a cross, even though he had never done anything wrong. When Jesus died on the cross, God's family was broken hearted. The rescuer was gone. They wondered how they would ever be close to God again. But then, something incredible happened. Jesus didn't stay dead. He came back to life. He was alive. He is alive. This was God's plan all along. Jesus chose to take the punishment for our sins. He died on the cross so we don't have to. And now anyone can become a part of God's family. 
if we choose to believe that Jesus rescued us. We get to be close to Jesus because He loves us. He loves us when other people don't. He loves us when we feel left out, alone, and hurt. He loves us even when we do wrong things. And this isn't just your ordinary, everyday kind of love. It's the strongest, most powerful, never-ending, never-changing, always and forever kind of love. And no matter what we do or where we go, He will always be with us. And that's the story of Jesus. Okay, so um, that is the first miracle um, that, well, one of the very first miracles that ever happened. So we will continue talking about this tomorrow. Okay, so look out for your language arts video next.